Greetings, RC Model Geeks. And here we are in the shed for part 23 of the DB Sport and Scale Sopworth Pup Electric Build. So today I am going to cover the fuselage. So I've got the old covering iron out there, it's plugged in, warming up. So uh, let's get on with it. Back with you in a minute. Okay, there is the bottom side covered. So next we will do the sides. Same colour again. Uh, the uh, linen. So yeah, shouldn't take long. This only took me about to what? five minutes something like that to do that bit so uh, yeah onto the sides okay so that is the uh, second uh, side done and uh, Bix the Phil's here hello good morning and you can tell Bix the Phil's here because there's been a special delivery today <laughs> they're called maple syrup and pecan cookies yeah uh, the Reverend Wing Commander Perry really? uh, has uh, sent us those, um, and the uh, no, Jammy Dodgers Special Edition Toffee Apple. You know Sorry, Eric... Colin, you're not here, mate. <laughs> Did you know Eric Brown? <laughs> <laughs> Good book, that is. <laughs> uh, classic. So, yeah, those are nice. They're maple syrup and uh, pecan. Uh, cookies, those uh, very yummy. I'm going to try one. Yeah, Phil's going to Phil's dunking they in there. Hefty. Yeah. yeah, you can't handle anything crunchy. It's all got to be soft, isn't it, mate? No. <laughs> <laughs> right. So uh, yes, back with you when we've done another side. But just looking good so far. Mm. Okay, that is the third side done. Looking all lovely jubbly. So now it's just the top. And there's an there. Phil's big hands. Look how small that plane looks when Phil's hands are there. You know, people are saying, oh, it looks <laughs> bigger. Can't get in there. Yeah, you can't get your hand in there, can you, mate? Nope. It's, uh, it's not that big a plane, actually. Well, compared to Phil's hands, anyway. <laughs> I imagine me launching it for him. Yeah, we, we rescued him from the um, one of those weird travelling circuses. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm quite used to all this banter. <laughs> right, let's get the uh, the green on the top there. Right. And there it is. Pretty much uh, finished. Apart from obviously uh, decals and uh, stuff like that, um, yeah, I varnished the uh, the covering as well. So yeah, it's uh, looking okay. Not bad at all, at all. So yeah, it's the other thing I'm just playing around with at the moment while I'm waiting for this to dry off. I'll probably leave that for the rest of the day now um, uh, to dry off. Is uh, a prop. Um, ideally, we want to spin something around 13 inches uh, on this plane. Um, so yeah, um, I've got this 13.8. Um, uh, that I'm probably going to use um, and I'm just modifying it, it was one of these Turner G ones, Aerostar things and um, you know, it had a really pointy tip and stuff like that so I've slightly modified the tip and now I'm just uh, sanding off all of the uh, the printing as you can see it was printed there and the coloured tip and that is afterwards so yeah, that's uh, that's coming together. So once that's done, I'll balance that with a prop balancer and and varnish it and all that kind of stuff. Probably not in that order, of course. Um, 
yeah so you know it is getting there slowly but it's getting there so the next thing um, which will probably be tomorrow now because once that fuselage is dried off it'll be tomorrow um, is to finish the wings so I will probably put the uh, push rods on there and on there and then hopefully I'm still waiting for the um, the vinyl to turn up so I can do um, the rest of the roundels and stuff and then I can go on there and then it's just finishing this wing panel off which is basically just putting the wing tip on there and finishing off the aileron on that wing gluing it to the centre section which is under there uh, and then covering it and then that's pretty much the plane finished apart from the two elevator halves which is sitting in there um, and that is the plane done and then so yeah not so, you know, it's not far off you know it's a few days work depends how much effort I put in and stuff like that uh, there's the the Reverend uh, Wing Commander Perry there keeping an eye on things uh, thanks for the biscuits there, Perry. <laughs> uh, poor old Bix, they couldn't wait to open them this morning. Otherwise, we'd have had an opening ceremony. So, yes. Right, so that is it for the day, I think. Um, yeah, nothing more to report. So, like, comment and subscribe if you want to email us. There's the email right there. And I'll uh, probably see you all tomorrow for part 24 of the DB Sport & Scale Sopwith Pup Electric Build. Bye. Oh, no. I'll tell you what. <laughs> no, 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 no. Before I go. Nothing to do with the pup, but this arrived. It's in the it's in an OS Max box, ironically, um, but it's not an OS Max. It is. When I can get it open, da, 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 da. it's a little cox. Now Ian knows all about these little cox. Um, and so does Cheryl <laughs> but uh, yeah um, 10 quid that cost me uh, on eBay um, it flips over nicely it's never been apart those uh, if we get those screws in there yeah they haven't been fucked with at all so um, you know I say it's probably in okay condition I haven't taken the plug off yet to uh, uh, to see what it's like but yeah that looks uh, quite nice and it comes with a little spring starter and it's still got the instructions and that's a um, a five milliliter tank I think something like that five I don't know five cc's I don't know um, but you know that will give you like um, uh, maybe a minute or two of run time and then a little prop on there I think that's a 5.3 on there. Uh, I don't know if the old camera will get that. Does that say 5.3 on there somewhere? I think that's what I read. But yeah, I don't think it's had much running. You know, it's just one of these things that's been sitting in somebody's shed for donkey's years. Um, yeah. So there you go. Right, so anyway, that is for the um, uh, for the uh, Dalm Dalmatian lady, which is sitting over there at the moment. So, uh, yeah, that's for the future, and he owned that one. So he can go back in his uh, wrong box. And, uh, yeah, so anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, see you all tomorrow. There's the email. Goodbye. Bye.